Hey Vikes, I'm Kylie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Any SHS student or any non-SHS student that lives in the Siemens School District and has completed their freshman year and are at least 14 years of age are eligible to take driver's ed. Sign up if you're interested. The Grab and Go drive through meal service will now only operate out of Siemens Middle School. There will also be a delivery service available for families that fit the criteria posted. The Riding Center is now looking for new consultants to join their team. If you are interested, fill out the virtual application by May 1st. Contact Ms. Sands if you have any questions. All teachers can be reached during their assigned office hours if you have any questions. Now, on to Josh to find out if this warm weather will continue. Well, I hope you've been enjoying the warmer weather over the past couple of days because a cold front is coming through and that's going to knock our temperatures down quickly this evening. Take a look from 80 degrees at 5 o'clock down to the low 70s by 7 p.m., then 62 by 9 and down into the mid 50s by 11 o'clock this evening. We'll stay with clear skies, but our temperatures will be dropping quickly. And taking a look at your forecast for tomorrow, you can see that it's a much different story from today. Morning lows in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees, and then clouds will increase during the afternoon. Highs only in the upper 50s for your Thursday. We could see some rain Friday night, possibly on Saturday. But here's the setup for Sunday, a center of low pressure down near Kansas and Oklahoma border. And then we'll have some showers across most of eastern Kansas, but not too far away. There could be some snowflakes mixing in from northwest into north central Kansas and up into portions of Nebraska. So at this point, that looks to stay to our north, but we'll have to monitor it closely just in case anything changes. And I'll let you know as we track that for you. And taking a look at the SBTV 7-day forecast, you can see that temperatures will start to recover this weekend back into the 60s with the scattered periods of rain around, but not for very long because an even colder blast of air looks to arrive for early next week with highs back in the upper 40s to around 50. That's your latest weather forecast. Now, Kylie, back to you. Thanks, Josh. Now let's go find out some ways to stay active during this quarantine. Make sure to try them out. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.